wind's just uh, whipping up, so I'll have the double blade, so might as well use it, right? Not gonna lie, I almost got lost there. Let me help. <laughs> Careful, buddy. Good to be here. All right, so we got a 420 meter portage, taking the two backpacks first, leaving the canoe on the smaller day pack there. We do 420 meters that way, 420 back and 420 with the canoe. He sent four that day. Oh, that was a great paddle in. We heard some beautiful loons in the background and it really highlights the space and how quiet it is here. It's absolutely stunning. So found a gorgeous spot for lunch here on a big rock. See if we can get a fire going and boil some water, save some fuel for the rainy days ahead. How long are we stopping for? A little while. An hour, an hour and a half. They are really nice, super dry as well. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not only he has an independent fire, but he nicks communal sticks, man. I mean, look at this opportunistic chipmunk over here. What do you have to say for yourself, Fred? Um, <laughs> please, please. please. It's on camera now. Oh, that's quick, huh? It's warm and beautiful and uh, I don't know if it's going to get better than this so time to take advantage and go for a swim. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah baby. <laughs> yeah buddy. <laughs> uh, time to boil some water. <laughs> Thank you. 
always buoying people. Found some pool. We think it might be wolf, Scott, because it's a ton of hair and the shape. Sounds probably bear, pretty sad. Bear? Yeah. I don't think so, man. There's no berries, there's no fiber in there, you know? Yeah. See you there, bud. This is gorgeous, man. <laughs> Mess myself up too, though. Just by the weight and the depth of the prints, it looks quite round. We think that's fair. Ooh. 450 meters and then we 
we have the longest portage of the day at 925 so not really looking forward to that but i am looking forward to a good camp some rest good food hydration and just uh, relaxing and and winding Mink. There's a mink. There's a mink. Mink. So it is now almost 5:30 p.m. We still got quite a ways to go. And we have the biggest portage of the day coming up with 925 meters. And feeling it, pretty tired. Looking forward to a nice camp. But this is just beautiful. <laughs> How's that beaver dam, mate? Oh, uh, Beaver Dam just got Matty up to the, almost his waist. Oh, oh boy. Well, guys, we're still at it. Um, we're considering stopping a little bit earlier and camping in a different lake instead we still have the 925 portage left and not much sunlight by the look of it uh, we'll see what we do looks like we're gonna have to go all the way already about 6 30 p.m we are running out of light and we've got a massive portage left so we're gonna be setting camp and cooking in the dark probably, but that's okay. Sun is dropping, we need to get there. So we've got this whole lake to do. Yeah. Let's go. Come on, Portage. Is this all you got? Your shoulders aren't in pain. Pain is temporary. Pride is forever. Ah. Ah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's finish this, guys. Come on. Hey, bear. You don't want to eat me, bear. Oh, man, I think I see the water. Yes. Almost there. Take that. Oh man, I gotta be more gentle with her. Oh, not a good time to go in the water now. That was the last portage of the day, 935 meters. Temperature is dropping fast and I'm pretty wet, sweaty and wet, so time for camp. Let's do it. See you later, sucker. Must make it to camp before everybody else. Oh boy, rough landing. we made it yes it's freaking dark almost 8 p.m so we're gonna get some head torches importantly get the food barrel line 
somewhere hanging, ready to hang our food later. So whilst we still have a little, little bit of light, we're gonna do that. And I'll bring you guys back in once everything is set up and uh, under control. luxury item on this trip guys this this is true luxury that is a memory foam pillow once it inflates and recovers its shape it's super duper comfy socks and shoes eh you want to be canadian just say a after every sentence that's all you gotta do man. that's all you gotta do eh nice night eh I'm gonna stop recording eh My tent, man. Where are you going? Get out of my tent, man. Where are you going? Super eventful day guys, um, nice and cozy in my tent now, I'm spent, so tired, really looking forward to some sleep, good night guys and I see you tomorrow. Cheers guys, good morning and 
good to be here. Second course, we're doing a peanut butter pancake tortilla wrap. Mm. Much better than I thought it would taste. Might be clearing up a bit. Looks like some light coming through. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, 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 oh, it slingshot it like into my throat, man. <laughs> Ow, that's a new one. Coming in hot! Watch out! Oh, I wasn't expecting the sink! <laughs> uh. Yes sir, I can see water. Good portage. Over 700 meters without a stop. We're on Pandion Pond right now. Really short paddle to the next portage, which is approximately 450 meters long. Starting to get a bit more remote now. Matty's trotting his line, and if he catches a fish, I'm gonna freak out of jealousy. So, really hope he doesn't catch a fish. <laughs> I say that with love, Matty. <laughs> Three hundred and thirty-five meter portage to, I believe, Shaleg. Let's go. No more fishing for now. Big portage coming up, over 1,100 meters now. So let's get that out of the way and uh, maybe have some lunch as a price. Land the hoy. Yeah. 1,100. Let's go. managed to do that whole portage in one go so i'm really proud of myself for that that's awesome i'm just gonna go get back the two other packs this isn't the ideal location for a bear to jump out of you i don't know what is scratches by the bear right there you can see your scratches pretty clearly don't want to be on the receiving end of that for sure It's a weird feeling. It's like, I want to see a bear, but I don't want any trouble, you know? Ooh. 
literally the first meal that comes out of this bag I'm having It'll be something good Neto curry, okay, I guess. Thank you for that. Good. Yeah, I, I wasn't really in the mood for a neto curry, but I am now. <laughs> it's got carrots, rice. It smells good. Mm, that's good. It's quick, isn't it? Here in the beautiful Team River, and from now on, we should be extra quiet so we might see some moose or some wildlife. So, time to be quiet. Fish on! Yeah! Yes, sir! First fish of the trip! Ooh. Got one! Yes! Yes, sir! Hey! Going down there, that is going to be a problem. There's a portage here. We're debating whether to take this campsite or not. It's already about 4 30 pm and we are beat, man. We're gonna make the best of this campsite. We're gonna try and do some fishing as well. But first, I wanna leave my stuff hanging to dry. The boys are there and shouting, maybe they're getting into some brook trout. So I'm a little bit anxious to get fishing, but let's do what's important first. Camp is set up, but I still gotta portage the canoe close to camp, so let's do that. Excuse me. Oh, I found your lure, Fred. Is it the Black Fury? Now, time for some fishing. Everything's set up, so let's go. Gonna try and fish from there where Matty is. Look. 
That looks fishy as hell. Ah, uh, it's little, it's little. No, it's not trout. It's this guy. There you go. Another fish. Another small one. Hey, trout. Little brookie. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice one, bro. Yay. But he's too small. What a beautiful fish, though. Oh, there he goes. Trout, baby trout. Oh, no, it's not. One of these guys again. I have no idea what they are. <laughs> oh, hi. Mate, you're so small. How you're so audacious. That's good. Little baby one. Off you go, buddy. When the hook is uh, barbless, guys, it just comes straight off. I literally got him like right here. That's a nice brookie. That's gonna be eating size. That is eating size. That's really good. Beautiful fish. And uh, see if we can eat it. Put it out of misery. There it is, guys. Beautiful, absolute beautiful brook trout. Look at the colors on that. That's really stunning. Got my knife here, so I think I'm going to prepare it over here and uh, take it back to camp to cook it. I need to hang my food for the bear, so I want to prepare my line ready for when I finish eating. That is not a correct branch. It's not tall enough, but we've been scouting here for a good hour and there is nothing here. Uh, we're gonna just have to do the best we can, use the branch and hopefully in the morning my food will still be there. Not great, not great at all. That's one of the best bits. Yeah. yeah. The skin's so good, man. The skin's like the best bit. The skin and the tail. Well, guys, that was an awesome day. Really eventful. Awesome to catch that beauty brook trout and share it with the team. Time to go to bed, and I'll see you tomorrow. See if we can do some more fishing in the morning. Good night. Morning guys, it's about 6.30 a.m. Gonna get into my wet clothes and see if we can do a bit of fishing. Nice cold sock in the morning to start the day. 
something better. Look, that's the hook off already. A little here. Oh look, wet my hand first guys. You know, I don't want to hurt him so there he is. Put him back in the water. So packed away. Camp is clean. And uh, we got our canoe over there and we're gonna hit the portage trail, finish this portage. Yeah. There we go. And we're on our way, guys. Here we go. Opa. Whoa, dude. Fred caught me, man. Yeah, well, got a portage here, uh, 460 meters. That's a no go. From there, I think it gets worse, so I'm gonna pour dash. We are still on the Tim River, it's about 1 pm, and we've got about two to three times as much progress to make as we've already done up until this point. It's hard to believe that it's only day three. We feel that we've covered so much distance already and done so much that time really gets distorted out here. And there's still plenty of adventure ahead. So that's kind of exciting. Sorry, man. Yeah, let's fish here, 100%. <laughs> Almost. Well, I mean, 
tapes of these rapids or not? Do we know anything about these? Bloody short portage, isn't it? We can have a look, of course. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's try that again. Yo yo. Yo. Good this job. Is what it looks like. Sure. <laughs> hey. Turns out these rapids that we portage are seem to be semi runnable, so I've emptied the bowl and I'm gonna give it a go. Let's go. Start. Seems pretty straightforward here. Oh, there's a rock there. Nasty rock here. Okay. There's a tree there, so we're gonna do that. Hug in. Go there. Perfect. Perfect. Easy. Easy, easy peasy, man. All right, guys, made it to Shipagu Lake. Blowing quite hard, so we're gonna have to push a little bit and dig deep. Looking for a portage on our left, which is just under one kilometer, which should take us to Blue Lake, I believe. And that is our lake for the night. Nice to have the change of scenery. We've been in the river the whole day. And this expanse it really feels good. Don't know what the weather's doing. It looks like it could start raining. I'm keen to get to camp quite quickly. Let's do it. Yeah! 950 meter portage. Here we go. Whoops. Rough start. Massive moose poo right there. I don't know if you guys can see it right on the trail. Massive. Be nice to see the moose. Oh, this one feels never ending. Uphill now. Ah. Oh boy. Ah. Yes, I can see the leg. 100 meters. stunning so quiet I think it's worth trying to troll to to the way to camp so we'll try that oh boy that was nasty Yeah, I'm coming, man. Definitely. All right. No more fishing. Time to go swimming with the boys. Oh, it's a cold one. Oh, it's a chilly one. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, my socks are coming off too. I've been in the for like two days now, so wet and from out of here. This is amazing. Oh, it's definitely really good. So just got here into camp, Blue Lake, absolutely gorgeous, incredible, incredible campsite. And um, Matt and I are going to get the bear hang sorted before we get into the same situation as we got yesterday. So let's go find a good branch. All right, I'm gonna go as well. Yeah, yeah, here he goes. Yeah, he goes nothing. Oh, that was that was nothing. That was <laughs> nothing indeed. Yep. Nice. Oh, so close. <laughs> so close, dude. <laughs> Straight up there. Dude. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Too much pressure, dude. So I've never thrown a throwback before. I'm gonna try first time. If I get this, it'll be very embarrassing for ball. So <laughs> I'll be very happy. To Everything do. to win, nothing to do. Oh, that was close, though, right? Ah, I mean, it's not bad, bro. It's not bad. If we break that, we're we'll in the money, basically. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. Nice home for the night. Sweet tent. Lake over there. Fire over there. I squeeze my point here, boys. Yes, sir. Thank you. Heard you, mate. Huh? I heard that. No, it was my foot squeaking my flip-off. Uh, of course it was. Watch. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Call me a liar. Yeah, Busted. sure, man. Hey there. Did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you saying it. Hey I'm there. singing to the bear. I'm singing a song to make that noise. Scary. That would scare anyone else out of That is what I have to sleep with. That's a snorer right there. Snorer, my tent. Snorer, my tent. Ay, 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 how am I gonna sleep with this? Awesome day. See you tomorrow, guys. <laughs> Morning, guys. I think the rain's coming, so I want to string up a tarp quick before it, it gets potentially very heavy.
Well, rainy start to the day. We had clear sky and uh, bright stars last night, but not to be this morning. Just gonna try and get our food down. Luckily, the bear didn't get it. <laughs> Matty's happy. That was a good start with her. That was a good start. We yeah, didn't lose yeah. our food. <laughs> Got the food back. Oh, oh yeah, but still over the tent. Alright guys, so raining outside uh, in the tent here, just packing away some stuff but I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys a little bit of the map. So this is where we are right now in Blue Lake and today we have a very short day. All we have to do is an 840 meter portage and we are in the big, monstrous, big trout lake. Yeah, we can take our time, let the rain subside a little bit and then try and find a really killer campsite spot on Big Trout Lake. Cheers guys. That was stupid. It's okay. Oh, my canoe. Oh, boy. Oh, bud. Oh, no, bud. We need more maple syrup. Urgent. I'm getting. Yeah, I'll get it from. I'll get it from here somewhere. Oh, it's full of frogs here. I don't have a paddle now. Um. Okay, that was stupid. So dumb. Paddling with my hands. That is desperate measures, guys. All right, we got our only portage for the day. 840 meters from Blue Lake to Big Trout Lake. All right, Polly. We're a solid 40 meters in and I'm tired already. <laughs> And we have to go back for the canoe, don't forget that. Made it to Big Trout Lake. Here it is, guys. Nice here. There's a campsite here, then there's a little island in front of that with two campsites. Uh, first campsite, I'm gonna go check it out. It's got nice water access for sure. That's kind of nice, plenty space, plenty of space for all our canoes. Oh, 
I think this is nice. So we checked that campsite out. It's uh, it's pretty cool actually. Lots of space, really comfortable, good water access. But we're gonna try uh, see the other one there. In the meantime, I'm gonna troll there. See if we can catch some fish. Let's check out this one. So this is the side. I mean, gorgeous views. That's for sure. Really nice views. Yeah. Loon swimming there in the water. Really elevated. But if it's going to be bad weather, then we're really exposed here. Quite windy and not very sheltered. So yeah. depending on the weather for the next three days, we'll strategize, look at the map and get some food in. So weather forecast came in. Looks like from a wind perspective, today and tomorrow are okay given we've been moving so much last few days i think the best decision is to stay in the first campsite that we spotted it's supposed to rain today and tomorrow so that really gives us some protection all right guys we found our spot so i'm just going to set up a quick uh tarp in case it starts to rain so let's set up Oh yeah, bud. Here comes the rain. Rain? Yep. Thai red curry for lunch. These are really good.
Oh no. Same shit again, huh? Yeah, that's a dead one, isn't it? We can do the same as yesterday. And snap our heads off. Yeah, that one off. Fight with those both. Yeah, yeah that is good firewood. Okay, here goes nothing indeed. Nowhere near. Right. What? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Right. <laughs> I got lucky. That confirms I got lucky yesterday, yeah? That's a moose right there. They're around. They're definitely around. Getting some firewood. We found a dead standing one. Nice one, man. Perfect. Nice. That'll do it for tonight, that. Yeah, definitely. That's enough. Oh, <laughs> oh sludgy. It gets up my nose every time. Hey. Oh, touching is quite. Oh, it's really, really <laughs> yeah. like that. That's like 100 years of old. <laughs> <Feed the food>. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting, man. For dinner, I'm having some Beyond Meat taco mix. It's basically Beyond Meat and black beans and tomato sauce, garlic and pepper, all that good stuff. I dehydrated this at home. I'm gonna rehydrate it and maybe mix it up with these noodles. Yeah. It's gorgeous. thunder in the background so gonna make sure we are close to camp should it turn Touch it. Touch it. If you want. Put it in your skin. I put yeah. it to recommend it. Oh, he was going for me. <laughs> he wants it, didn't he? He's like, yeah, go on then. It's uh, 3 a.m. It started raining heavily and uh, thunder and lightning. It seems like the system is coming full force at us, so brace. 
That was closer. I think that was only about three and a half K away. This is exciting and terrifying at the same time. Oh, Watching this spectacle of nature, beautiful thunderstorms, both terrifying and magnificent at the same time. Really special. 3 a.m. and nothing but watching the lightning go by. Oh boy. Come here, bud. Come here, man. Go there. There's a space there. Go there. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Oh! Man, everything's puddling there. Oh boy. Oh man, everything's running towards me, I think. I'm right in the drainage zone, no? Wow. I'm gonna bring this uh, tarp down so it stops pooling. And uh, yeah, get in the tent for a bit. Maybe have a nap or something.
wie arbeiten. Battery. Yeah, I can hear it going down. <laughs> Desperate times, eh? You can tell like this campsite because everything above like eight it foot. Is, yeah, it's been like gone stripped away. to be on the water. The mission today is to catch a fish. That's it. After all that stormy weather, it's now super hot. That's crazy weather. Oh yeah. Now we're ready. We're gonna troll in the middle of the lake because I've just tried trolling here and I hit some weed at the bottom. So let's look for some depth, have a really deep diver lure on it. See what we can do. Well, no fish yet, but I haven't washed this shirt in Five days and it's starting to smell. It's a good opportunity to, yeah, good opportunity to give it a wash. That's nice. Oh yeah, oh yeah, bud. Lovely. Looks like some gnarly clouds ahead, so I'm making sure I make my way upwind. If necessary, I can get to camp, back to camp safely. Some gnarly clouds there though. I'm gonna stick closer to the shore. Clouds coming in and some rain's coming, so I'll let that pass and get back on the water. In the meantime, I'll check this campsite out as well. I decided to get back on the water and just as I got back, the rain decided to come, so I'm gonna just sit here under this tree and wait the rain out try not to get too wet put on my my waterproofs and make a move back to camp when it's time seems to be flirting raining not raining but i'm gonna make a break for it now go for it win rain you win you win yes 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 okay we get it you need your point, okay. It's like a little rainbow in the background. There's sun and rain at the same time, basically. This is the battle between the sun and the rain and hopefully the sun will win. Dear, dear, been caught out in the rain, big time. Good job, bud. Oh man, I think the rain won, guys. I think the rain won. I'll see you guys back at camp. I was happy I was getting dry and I'm all wet again now, so... Ay, ay, ay. Wow! I gotta get out of the water, man.
some thunder in the background too so take time to get off the water gnarly cloud there but seems to be much better light blue sky coming so I'm probably gonna get to camp and the sun's gonna come out <laughs> well that was a cool adventure no fishing but hey had fun anyway I know you are saying the clouds, right? some dark clouds coming in again so better head back to camp quick some thunder in the background too back to camp oh, halfway through the trip mm. yeah pretty much so oh, much rain. Good night guys. Still enjoying every moment. Looks like we're in for another storm tonight, so try and get some sleep. Good night guys. Morning guys. We've been camped here on Big Trout Lake for two nights now, so time to have some breakfast, pack up gear and get on the move.
little maple syrup with a lemon. Voila! What have the tea, guys? Mm. So doing a little fuel check here with Paul, what you want to do is you want to float it and depending on how buoyant it is, it kind of gives you an indication of how much fuel is left. So as you can see, if we put them side to side, Paul's one is floating lower, so it's sinking down more, so he's got I'm more winning. fuel than me. He's probably on around 50 to 60% mm -hmm. left. I'm probably about 40% left. They drain so well as well, the crocs, you know? All right, if we go guys. New day, new adventure, anything is possible if you put your mind to it. So with that lame inspiration quote in mind, let's start the day. paddle down this narrow beautiful shoot vein here onto white trout lake that bit should be gorgeous which is just that way so we're gonna go and explore that Right guys, so we've made it to White Trout Lake and we have to cross the whole lake into Grassy Bay, which is gonna be on the next page. That cloud looks menacing. Oh, what was that? Water, filter, pot, algae, shoes wedging it in and should be doing the work for me. We miss the sun, sun, miss the golden sun, he shine down on me. Just like that, we got a full bottle of filtered water with no minimal effort, no squeezing over a liter in there. So, cheers. Well, we've come to this beautiful, beautiful campsite it's an island it's still on white trout lake so i guess we're gonna stop here and maybe have some lunch look at the map and see where we go from here what a campsite whoa and a little beach as well what Freaking five star, mate. Five star, dude. And you got full in service. Thank you, sir. I'll tip you on the way out, yeah?
knew it, fuck it, it would be good for something, huh? On to the next campsite. Grassy Bay. Just on the edge of White Trout Lake and Grassy Bay. So it looks like we found a beautiful campsite over here on the sun shining. So I think this might be home for the night. Please, guys. My tent is gonna go there. There's a little tree there that's dead although if it fell probably wouldn't do so much damage better to get rid of it it's clearly gonna go so that's better got the tent here and the tarp starts not exactly over the tent because i don't need really protection here on the foot end of the tent i'd rather have more protection at the front of the tent where i'm likely to hang out cook look over the water and uh, try and spot some wildlife i can be here and all this is going to be dry, you know, tons of dry space. Just done a little modification to my tarp here for today. So just wrapped the line onto a pole, creates a nice open area and gives me really nice view look at this guys look at that man when your camping buddies prepare firewood for the night that is very nice thank you paul it took longer to uh, balance that grill than it did cut the wood <laughs> <laughs> looking forward to getting up there and doing a bit of fishing now though yeah where are we gonna go? We gotta get away from all this. We gotta get over there somewhere, haven't we? Maybe to the edges of the river. That might be a good spot. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful evening. Warm, sunny, and still. The sun is setting there. Probably have about one hour left of sunset. And time to get fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Backfire, man. <laughs> that is Mr. Captain Backfire. <laughs> well, incredible, incredible night, guys. Winds just died. We are in heaven right now. This is so beautiful. We're gonna go for a paddle. Group dynamics are strong, spirits are high. Everybody's having a good time and teasing everybody else and it's just beautiful to be here this is incredible guys what a night
chilling out. Beautiful day. What a day. What a day. It's amazing, guys. Peace here and beautiful nature. The whole area is just amazing. I feel really present right now here. Last night I'd be on a high like every night's had something really yeah. nice. Every day's had something really special about it. Yeah. Even that storm, you know, that storm Yeah, yeah. exactly. This Paul's work and actually Matt mostly men, Matt and Paul men, men and me. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> it was all Paul basically. Yeah. I was yesterday, but Paul was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This place is amazing. Right? This place is amazing. Guys, you guys are nuts putting these shoes next to the fire, by the way. No? On the water shoes, anyway. Right? Yeah, they're water shoes, man. They're expensive. Fly the flag. <laughs> sparky, mate, you're gonna. I'm taking them away because they're gonna. You're gonna make holes in them, right, Fred? No, man. <laughs> Your tip's gonna burn off. Everything else is wet, dude. Oh, so manky, man. That is funny. Uh, that's well, that's a man. Like a <laughs> oh, that so <laughs> that's the monkeyest feet I've ever seen in my life, man. Got enough of it. I was going for a, for a nice closing scene, but freaking heck. Morning guys, it is day 7, I believe. We're expecting gusts of over 35 miles an hour. Let's get it move on.
with her head. <laughs> there you go. They look like otters to me. It's like a group of four or five. So for breakfast this morning we're going uh, John Tario style and having a meal, proper meal for breakfast, a sweet potato curry. Didn't think this through very much, did I? Okay. Time has come to change into wet shoes. I think it's gonna be a wet day today, so save my crops for later. Okay. Oh yeah. Coming to the first portage of the day, but first we have a little beaver dam to cross. Oh boy, risky business. Nice. That's a big one, eh? Look at that! That is incredible, man! It is beaver dam galore here. Dam after dam. Amazing what these creatures are capable of. Incredibly hardworking, beautiful animals. Just 
came to explore this little creek. Macintosh Creek. Gorgeous. For touch time, 745 meters. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful trail. Beautiful portage. Sounded like thunder. I found a nice little lure here for me. Nice little maps. Thank you. Here it comes. It's coming big. Let's get this canoe 750 meters that way, uphill. Here we go. Let's get her. Paul and I just saw a moose. So let's see if we can get closer to it. Too hard to, too far to capture the camera, but pretty exciting. Full of beaver dams. Unfortunately, I think we lost the moose. Couldn't make it in time. One more portage into Macintosh Lake. All right, guys, made it to Macintosh Lake, and it's a windy one, as you can see. Super, super windy. Quite big waves for this type of canoe. Beautiful lake, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, just hope we can find a nice campsite, get there safely. With the waves, I'm seeing already some white caps, so time to be careful and uh, alert. <laughs> it's a windy one. Looks like conditions are getting worse, so I don't know. We're gonna evaluate our options and see how we proceed from here. Well, guys, we've been here for uh, almost an hour now, and it looks like we are windbound. We've checked the inReach for an uh, updated weather forecast, and it seems like the next three days are gonna be like this. Doesn't seem like the wind's going anywhere. So we're gonna have to stay put for the moment, and uh, hopefully we'll get a break and advance a little bit to our campsite. This is right on the limit regarding safety and ability to paddle in, in these conditions. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe we don't make any crossing at all today. I don't know. I don't know, we'd maybe just <laughs> get to the island, do you think? And then just... We're discussing options. We the thing is, if we... If we don't make this crossing today, we still have to make it tomorrow and puts on quite a lot of pressure for our progress. We are windbound. Yeah, I'm gonna start preparing either way. Fred's gone ahead and made a move, so he's gonna show us the way and see if we can follow him. We're gearing up and tying our gear down just in case as well. Let it shower pass, boys. Let it pass, man. That'd be a nice feeling, man. Just being in the tent, eh? Polly, let's go, man. 
Yeah, dude. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm going with the double, man. Right? Like, look how much he's advanced already, dude. That's better. There's a bit of a lull in the wind right now. We're gonna make the best of it. Nice. All right, guys, we made it to the lee side of this little island. A little nice uh, refuge before we take uh, crossing to the next island over there where our campsite is. So, doing quite well. Made sure to put my heaviest pack over here at the front try and anchor the front and be a little bit less uh, pivoty on the water. Good decision to wait out, found a little lull in the weather and took advantage of it and that's what it's all about. Taking a more calculated risk. Gorgeous on the lee side of this island, beautiful, look at this guy, really still here. Safely. Yeah. Good to be here. Hey, Sean. High Paul, five for Paul. him. Me and Paul. I'll give you a Paul's high five. Yeah. On behalf of Paul. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yeah! We made it! I'm buzzing, guys. Really good decision to wait for that lull. And um, yeah, it's really nice to be here. It's a beautiful sight. There's Matt and Fred just chilling there and ten areas more sheltered spots are this way. Absolutely gorgeous sight. And tomorrow the wind gusts are coming down from 30 today to about 21. So it makes sense to stay here, find some sheltered spots. This is nice. Look how much space there is for tents. We're gonna tie this canoe to the tree. I don't want any shenanigans in the night with the canoe flying away, so just a simple bowline there. We are hearing some thunder and it's going super mega dark. I can already feel some drizzle. No time to lose. So I'm going to set up the tarp right now, time lapse it, and um, then I can go from there. Nice to have the tarp up and have a bit of dry area to work with. It's already raining. I totally messed up the tarp though. It's not even over the tent spot and there are these big roots over this in the middle. So I'm gonna probably wait for the rain to subside and then redo the tarp because this sucks. Looks like it might be clearing up as well. The sun might be coming out as we speak. It's quite nice. One, two, three, one.
sleeping bag is so fluffy now. Looking forward to sleeping in that tonight. Mwah. firewood here in this island um, as expected Paul has managed to find a really nice uh, dead standing here quite precariously placed over the edge of the water though his plan is to tie it and cut just underneath the rope and then we can hopefully drag it in that's the plan right Indiana Jones <laughs> yeah we'll see. we'll see we'll see how that goes desperate times desperate times indeed yeah yeah hold on to the ropes you know I mean? yeah 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 of course it's <laughs> a movement yeah i can hear it oh, no no <laughs> now what no. yeah no 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 oh. okay i'm okay stay it, calm yeah. <laughs> stay calm okay, there's a big ledge the so <laughs> We've lost it. <laughs> the source gone, and we're trying to get this tree now. One, two, three. Yeah. Pull. I think I need to push. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Good right, job, buddy. I'll do the pulling. <laughs> Alright, let me get my saw. I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. See if we can get that top half of the tree as well. Okay, got the saw. Let's just close this. We don't have any accidents. Okay, so it's secure. Ready? Nice. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my hand. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't see that, man. Wow. Why do we do this to ourselves? Oh, f dude, I didn't see that. That huge six foot hole. We almost lost the saw, almost died. Nice one, dude. Well done. Time to get some fresh water. Try not sleep anymore here. Oh, that's perfect. Guy must be hungry. Oh, man, give him some, man. <laughs> You're gonna give him some. Time to make a move, wind's picking up again, it's super chilly, temperature has dropped to about 7 degrees Celsius. But with this wind of 40 mile an hour gust, the wind chill is a lot lower, so keen to get on the water and get the blood flow going. Well, the wind direction has changed in our favor, so we need to go 
that way, so that's kind of helpful. Where are we, mate? Macintosh. Yeah. So, yeah, as long as you get around that headlight, it's quite fun, isn't it? Double paddle tow there, and then single paddle that bit, maybe. And yeah. then portage. Nice. Let's do it. Lovely on the lee side of the island. Great relief from the wind. Just making our way down Macintosh Lake, 400 Portage, Timberwolf Lake across, 840 Portage Misty Lake, 1020 meter Portage Muslim Lake, and then 380 meter Portage into Winona Lake. So quite a few portages, but I get going. Portage should be there, no? Coming in hot, buddy! Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> the slow but steady group, Polly and I, are always behind. We like to take our time. We're doing a portage now, 405 meters to Timberwolf Lake. Absolutely beautiful here. All right, here we go. Put heavy pack at the front that will be our anchor point so you know the wind is not pushing our bow too much away whoops all right here we go and we're off timber wolf leg about three kilometer crossing here mainly headwind and have the boat heavily trimmed forward to act as an anchor against the wind we're heading around there as you can see all that as rain is coming Brace for the rain. Here it comes. Oh, bud. Oh, yeah, bud. Woo! Pretty calm over here. Seems like the shower passed and there's some patches of blue sky. So hopefully we get a little bit of sun to dry out. Absolutely gorgeous here, guys. Thank you. Oh, what service. Thank you, sir. to explore this little waterfall check it out guys so beautiful right now stop me was a good show yeah you need the cold and the wind to appreciate the calm and the warm right mm -hmm. so our peaceful lunch stop got quickly interrupted by the rain but still beautiful out here. We're gonna put our stuff away and get back on the trail. Hey! There we go. Good old boy. All right guys, so we just portaged 120. We're in Misty Lake. We're gonna go around this land over here and hit this 120 portage into Muslim Lake. We're gonna go all the way around, about three kilometer paddle. Well, facing pretty brutal headwinds. Ah, oh, 3K of this, guys. It's gonna be a slog. All right, we're gonna take a two minute break right here before we round the corner and then we're gonna be exposed all the way through. And Waves are going to be hitting us broadside, so reset our muscles and go around the corner. All right, 
They don't make me break. Looks like something is moving in guys from there We're making this big crossing here and um, a little dubious exactly where to go in, in terms of line so we might miss it miss the portage but if we miss we want to miss right so we're upwind and then not too much effort to find it but yeah it looks like this uh, gnarly cloud moving in expecting some rain in the next couple minutes and stronger wind so time to cross to be in there no I don't I don't see anything here okay let's go up a bit trying to find the portage it's quite difficult all right found the portage nicely and uh, winds coming down and Paul is still dry <laughs> Come on, Paul, you almost died, mate. <laughs> I saved you. I saved his life. You guys saw that. We're currently on a 1,020 meter portage, and I'm gonna break it up into bits, take the gear 500 meters, then come back for the canoe, then do the other remaining 500 meters for the gear, and then come back for the canoe. Same distance overall, just breaking it up, keep it more interesting. 1,020 meter portage done. Welcome to Winona guys, this is our camping lake for the night, beautiful lake, campsite is a short paddle away so let's get going, it's getting late, hungry, gotta do some camp chores and uh, get a fire going, the temperatures are dropping quite a lot tonight, expecting lows of 1 to 0 celsius, so better get cozy, let's go! Sweet home. Welcome to camp, guys. Winona. The lake is all ours. It's the only campsite on the lake. Fred and Matt are already setting up. Welcome home. Nope. I'm back here, canoe. Before we set up a tent or anything, we need some food, so I'm gonna make myself a Tortilla with peanut butter, the maple syrup. First cast. Mati was about to go fishing. I haven't even set up my tent yet, but he was going to go fishing, and I can't let him do that before me. So I, uh, I'll set up in the dark if I have to. But time to do some fishing. Let's see what happens. Mm. 
Say it has no memory. What is that? Okay. Yep, sounds good to me. Take it, running out of time. Morning guys, day nine. We are here in Winona Lake and it's gonna be a long day so better get going. What a morning guys, cheers to a good day's work. It's gonna be a mega super long day today. We have about seven lakes to hit, 10 portages and one river. Probably the longest day of the trip so far. It's about five degrees Celsius, but the sun's shining, so it feels awesome. Really beautiful. Well, that good. Portage number one, Winona Lake to Bandit Lake, 540 meters. First portage of the day, and spirits are high in the team. Everybody's happy, making good progress. Even though we just started, we gonna push off this muck. Oh boy! All right, one portage, nine to go. Oh 
Ang Inhod. Second portage of the day, Bandit to Moccasin Lake, 440 meters. Third portage of the day, 140 meters, moccasin lake to steel moccasin, a little pond. I'm gonna try and single carry this one, see if I can do it. Don't tell the boys, they'll be jealous. Here goes my single carry attempt, boys. Yeah. Yes, sir. Single carry. Woohoo! See you later, suckers. Uh, just like that. We beat the boys to the water. Oh yeah, packing light pays off. Yes, baby. Awesome. So this was what we portaged over the obstruction, but it looked quite doable. Fourth portage of the day, 805 meters, also the longest, Moccasin Pond to Petawawa River. So this is a long portage, but there's a lot to gain by single carrying. I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, if I pull it off, I'm saving 1.6 kilometers in distance, as I just have to do the 805 meter once instead of three times. All right, so far so good, 805 meters with all my gear at once yes i made it i made it guys that's awesome oh dear back on the petawawa river I'm gonna try to be super quiet see if we can see some wildlife i'm on my own hopefully the guys won't get too angry that i went off without them try not to scare off any wildlife Fifth portage of the day, 450 meters, still on the Petawawa River. I'm gonna keep portaging, but I left them a little sign of me. Hopefully they see that and they realize that I'm okay and I'm continuing on to the trail. 
managed to single carry that 440 meter portage as well saving myself over 800 meters it's a very long day today just gonna press on because still got a long way to go Shallow here, so she needs a double blade. That's quite well here. Made it to the uh, end of the Petawawa River section and just waiting here at the portage for the boys to come. Oh no, it's cracking. Doesn't matter. My goodness. Mm. Oh yeah. Portage number six of the day, 135 meters, Petowawa River to Daisy Lake. Absolutely gorgeous here. We're gonna stop for lunch and enjoy this spot. I'm in last position again. Surrendered my advantage, so let's go. Time to go. We are now on Daisy Lake. We have about six to seven kilometers of travel on this lake until the next portage and it's going to be pretty much all headwind so making the best use of this double blade <laughs> got an unexpected tailwind all of a sudden so riding it as much as possible baby sun's about to come out this is my chance to wash this stinky shirt so here we go committed now Oh yeah, <laughs> she's a cold one. That will dry in no time with my own body heat and the sun. It's gonna be, oh yeah, smelling nice and fresh in no time. Gotta take the opportunity when it comes. Nice uh, beaver down here. So much beaver activity here. Dam after dam after dam. Portage number seven of the day 420 meters, Daisy Lake to Hambone. short paddle just the pond and then into Hambone Lake actually let's get going eighth portage of the day from this little pond to Hambone Lake 55 meters easy one Portage number nine of the day, 135 meters, Hambone Lake to Magneto One Lake. Ninth portage of the day, single carrying all the gear at one go. Getting tired now. Here we go, we're off, we're on Magneto One Lake. It's been a long day, but it's been a very rewarding one nonetheless, so I'm extremely grateful.
Reportage number 10. Okay. 340 meters. Magneto and Lake to Little Eagle Lake where home awaits. Yeah. Boy, ay ay ay. There we go. Oh, that was a bad flip. All uphill so far, and it seems to be getting even more, more uphill. Oh boy. Little Eagle, our home for the night. In the background, this is an absolutely gorgeous little lake. Perfect spot for our last night. Campsite is just at the end. Over there. The campsite has views to the west, so we should have a gorgeous sunset. Looking forward to that. This is camp guys, so people have been quite kind to leave a nice bit of wood to burn, that's very appreciated. Found an absolutely gorgeous little spot. Lucky that I came first, those uh, single carries paid off, so I'm gonna take it before the guys come, so let's do a time lapse and set up the tent. Must be around 5.30. Look. I think so. Judging from the sun. There's a sun guy. Nice and cozy baby, nice and cozy for the night. Not a bad view from the tent either, eh? Nice to have a bit of luxury guys, we have a table tonight so we're gonna use it. Pretty nice for cooking. I wanted to show you guys how much food is left over, so I have that for dinner, two wraps, little snack bars for dessert, and for tomorrow I have two snack bars 
and an electrolyte. The food worked out perfectly. It's a nice feeling to know that you ate everything and you didn't have to carry extra. Thai red curry, last dinner. Hey, what you doing buddy? I want breakfast. Well guys, trip is coming to an end now. It has been an incredible experience. Shared it with some very special people. It has been my first backcountry adventure canoeing and portaging and I absolutely loved it. I think this is a great platform for more and bigger adventures in the future. The weather has been beautiful. We've had it all, we've had thunderstorms, we've had sunny weather, rain, cold. Because of those conditions, we got a really rich experience and really contrasting days. And every day was, was special, every day had something in store for us. With that, I wanna say thank you for watching the video and hope to see you on many other adventures in the future. Thank you. GoPro, stop recording.